if you're a recording artist and you're creating music and putting it out and you're getting your songs produced by other people, you are going to really need to hear this message. So I just got off the phone speaking with an artist who had applied to work with me in my academy. It didn't end up working out, but he had said a couple of things in there that I really wanted to address here on this video. So if you think that basically what he was telling me was, you know, hey, I'm fine with buying beads for 20 bucks, 30 bucks and putting it out there. And if somebody discovers me, I get a record deal. You know, that's not how it works. Um, in fact, there are so many, you know, I, this is what I've heard. This is the stat I've heard. There's been a different stat thrown around that 60,000 songs per day are uploaded onto uh, Spotify and streaming platforms. 60,000 songs a day. I don't even want to do the 30 day or the 365 day. I, I can't even go that far. But I, it made me think, I was like, there's really still artists. And I didn't realize this because I've been doing this for 14 years. So I, I know, but there's really still artists out there who think that you can just put your music out and that somehow you'll passively get discovered and get a record deal. That's actually crazy as fuck. Because I didn't think that there, I, I, I thought, and this is just me being, you know, me being kind of ignorant, I guess. I, I, I thought that everyone figured out that that's not how it works. I thought everyone knew. Like, I thought all of us kind of were like understanding that that's, that's not how it works. Like, but I guess not. I, 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 I guess, I guess there are really still artists out there who, who, who think that you could just, you could just put a song out. And if you just put enough music out that you'll go viral and like you'll get discovered. And that's fucking crazy because that's not how it works at all. Like you, you not only have to put out a lot of music, the music has to be great. And you also need to put out a ton of content video wise and you need to put money behind ads. It's a lot of things. And, and, and just the first bar of Oh, you have to put out great music. You know, it's funny. Like I say that and in my head, I'm imagining talking to some of these artists that I've talked to and they say, oh yeah, yeah, my music's great. Like I already make great music. It's like, hold up for real. Because I've heard some of these songs that these guys putting out and I'm like, nah, you don't actually like your music is actually not good. You might be okay at rapping and you might be okay at singing songwriting. Maybe. And you might be six, seven out of 10, but the mixing mastering isn't quality. You don't own the rights to the beats and maybe even the beats aren't even that good, but it's, it's, it's beyond that people in their minds get so convoluted. And it's kind of funny. Like I was just talking to an entrepreneur friend of mine name. I'm not going to say who he was actually, cause he won't want me to say, but I was talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about how people need better perspective. We were talking about, re, uh, uh, entrepreneurs, who, who own online businesses like I do and create content and they think their content is high level, right? Like they'll compare themselves to an Iman Gadji or Alex Hermosi. Um, and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, my content's really good. I don't understand why my content's not doing, why I don't make a lot of money. And then you will look at their content compared to an Alex Hermosi or, or an Iman Gadji or anybody out who does that. And you're like, bro, your, your content looks like shit. Like your content's not good not high quality. The message ain't landing. The editing sucks. Like, what do you like, but you think it's good content. And that's, that is a big problem that musicians have. And it's fucking crazy. Like it's like, I, I guess when I was a kid and I was 17, 18 years old, I thought the same. Like I did kind of think that I would just be able to put out music and people would like just see it and I'd, I'd get discovered. And then like, I'd get a record deal. But like after um, I don't even know how many years, probably after like my fifth year, like maybe my five, six year mark, I kind of was like, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Like, that's not how it's gonna happen for me. I just realized I was like, it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to do a lot more work than this. So I wanted to make this video to, to like, just clarify and hopefully help some pr perspective for another artist who's watching this to say like, you can't just put out your music and you can't just expect people to see it. First of all, second of all, your music's probably not as high quality as you think it is. Sorry, it's probably not that good. If it was that good, you probably would be getting more clout. You probably would be getting more plays. 
or you're not putting out your music enough and that's the reason you're not getting clout and plays either and i think i think a lot of artists need to hear this because i think you guys think that your music's better than it is and you think that it's that good to a point where if you just put it out you know how many artists i know whose music is legitimately fire and they have like a hundred streams or like maybe a couple thousand streams and they're legit fire i'm like why because they don't push the marketing they don't they don't put in the work to create video content they don't put in the work to go do shows they don't put in the content they don't put in the ads they don't make enough music yeah it gets a, it's a lot there's a lot more to making it as a musician and getting your business right and marketing and content and ads than just great music so thought i'd make this video for some clarity hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go do something about your life and go change it